Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome to my unboxing and hands-on of the LG Stylo 6 for Boost Mobile. Let's go ahead and talk about pricing real quick. Full retail price on this is $219, but right now you can save $40 and pick this up for $179.99 on Boost Mobile's website. Link will be in the description below of this video. So just taking a look at the box here, you get some specifications to the front, an image of the Stylo 6, and taking a look at the back of the box and some some specifications 6.8 inch full HD plus display so 1080p you get the included stylus 30 megapixel main camera 5 megapixel ultra wide camera 5 megapixel depth sensing camera three cameras to the back 30 megapixel front facing camera 64 gigabytes of ROM 3 gigs of RAM and micro SD card expansion let's go ahead and open up the box here so opening up the first box you are presented with a second box here which does go over some more specifications this does have a 4000 milliamp hour battery fast charging capabilities with this also so let's go ahead and open up the secondary box and then we are presented with the device and you are going to get your lg branded wall brick here and i can mention this does have fast charging capabilities good to see now you're also going to get your type c data cable included in the box so type c and fast charging you're also going to get your tool here which is going to get you access to your tray where you can input your sim card as well as micro sd card moving on to the stylo 6 this is it here it is as you can see it comes with a pre-installed screen protector to the front what i want to do next is give you a tour around the stylo 6 starting with the right hand side and as you can see you got one button to the right side that's your power button and it looks to be nice and chromed out to the sides there take a look at the bottom you got your stylus, your single down firing speaker, Type-C charging port, mic, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now on the left hand side, you got a lot going on here. As you can see, you got your volume rockers up on top. To the center is going to be your dedicated Google Assistant button. And beneath that is going to be your tray where you can input your SIM card as well as a micro SD card to expand storage. Up on top, the only thing you got there is going to be your noise cancellation mic. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at at the back so as you can see you got the three camera setup there 30 megapixel main camera 5 megapixel ultra wide 5 megapixel depth sensor camera you got the sticker um, pre-installed to the back fingerprint sensor and just take a look at this back it just looks really nice i like how the light reflects off of the back and you have these different colors that are showing let me remove that sticker there so as you can see you know uh, not much of a camera bump to the back it has like this chrome ring going around it the same thing with the fingerprint sensor lg branding to the bottom now, i really like the design of the stylo 6 it looks so nice this is a beautiful beautiful looking smartphone and this is also housing a 4000 milliamp hour non-removable battery so man has some good weight to it as well this looks extremely, extremely nice in my opinion. LG, they, they did a good job this time with the design, the build quality, spot on. Now let's go ahead and remove that pre-installed uh, screen protector. And I'll go ahead and power on the Stylo 6, see if we got some juice in this. And there we go, Stylo 6 powered by Android. Let me get this device all set up and I'll give you a little bit more hands-on time with the Stylo 6. All right, so I'm back. I got the device all set up, ready to go. First thing what I want to talk about is going to be your security features. Now, I went ahead and set up the fingerprint sensor. Um, that's basically your main way of unlocking this device. Now, you got the double tap to wake, the double tap to sleep. I set up the fingerprint sensor, and as you can see, it, I am able to unlock the Stylo 6, and it seems to be working very well. Other security features you're going to have is pattern, pin, and password, but no facial recognition to unlock the Stylo 6, unfortunately. Let's talk about this, this display now. So, if this is a very tall device, you have a large 6.8 inch full HD plus display. So, 1080 resolution this is a very very nice looking display up on top you got your earpiece which is also going to be your front firing speaker so you got dual firing speakers on this one on the bottom and the earpiece the cutout to the top which is which is your 13 megapixel front facing camera and you know as you can see the bezels to the side and as well to the chin i mean they're not the slimmest of bezels but it looks you know the display looks really good on this device now i've been watching a couple of youtube videos on this and 
and I gotta say I'm very impressed with the 1080p panel that the Stylo 6 has to offer. As you can see you can watch an original but you will get the black pillars to the side or you can go ahead and zoom to fill and you also get decent viewing angles with this display and the audio coming from the earpiece and the single down firing speaker is really good in my opinion. It seems to get loud and actually fill the room of my office so really good audio. Now let's go ahead and talk about that dedicated Google Assistant button that you have on the side there so uh, as you can see it's very responsive as soon as I click on it it opens up the Google Assistant so that's nice that you have that uh, addition to the Stylo 6. Okay, so next thing I want to share with you is the user interface here so if you swipe to the side that is going to get you into your Google feed where you're going to basically have articles of interest YouTube videos as you can see how everything is laid out you got your Google search bar up on top as well as the weather widget and as you can see these are some of the applications you have pre-installed and your Google folder here and these are basically all the Google applications that you have out of the box boost mobile application and Facebook CPU Z and Geekbench I did download those and those don't come pre-installed I want to share with you here the keyboard here so this is the LG keyboard this is the layout and just so you kind of have an idea as how everything is looking and take a look at some of the different emojis that you have on board here so I know a lot of us send out text messages probably more than we make phone calls so I just want to kind of share with you how everything is looking there and next what I want to do is just just pull down the status bar and as you can see all the quick toggles here and I like the fact that this is all just blackened out I mean this looks like a very clean uh, UX version from LG here so I like how everything's looking DTSX 3D surround and into settings here as you can see you got a wide variety of settings now, I'm not going to go through every single feature here but I will be making separate videos um, sharing with you how to enable certain features like the on-screen buttons how to take screenshots and I did connect this to the Wi-Fi so this can connect to 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi this also has NFC on board and then you're also gonna have Android 10 out of the box so it's good to see that we got Android 10 just straight out of the box I wish they would have done the same thing with the LG k51 so it's good to see this is what we're getting Android 10 and again I'll be making dedicated separate videos a lot of different tutorials regarding this device so definitely be subscribed now taking a look at the stylus here so it's on the bottom right hand corner now I'm a little concerned about the stylus because as you can see it does protrude out just a little bit to the bottom so it's not fully flush to the bottom as you can see there now this is spring loaded so you have a spring at the end and as you can see there's really no issue removing the stylus so you don't have to worry about having long nails like previous stylus uh, we've had on different stylos um, so you'll be able to just you know hit the spring and that will just basically retract uh, a portion of the stylus as you can see there so you know I love the stylo devices I love the feature that you get here as you can see removing the stylus you get these different options that pop up and they are customizable you can edit so it doesn't have to be these dedicated options you can switch them up and you can actually move that little um you know a little window around you can put it to any corner of the device you want so i'll be making again dedicated videos regarding the stylus the features that are available but as you can see here you know this is a good tool to have on this device and it's very fluid it just flows right across the display and um, yeah this looks really good I like you know the stylus the size of it it's really perfect a good tool to have let's go ahead and take a look at the cameras now so again you get that triple camera set up to the back 13 megapixel main 5 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel depth sensing camera. So as you can see how everything's looking here, it's looking really nice with this camera, especially when you switch it up to that wide angle mode. So let me go ahead, this is standard, let's switch it up to wide angle and look at how much more you can capture into the shot. It looks really, really good. And you also get the portrait shots where you can actually adjust the f-stop there, you know, adjust the blur to the background. And as you can see, this just doesn't work on people you can actually use the portrait mode on objects which is nice and as you can see there you got your video mode and this can record at 1080p at 30 frames per second AI camera for scene detection YouTube live you have that available now I also want to share with you to the side there you got your timer 
for your photos and then also your flash there you can have that on auto and then you have these different filters and as you can see the variety of filters you have here now i've been playing with this camera for a little while now i also want to share with you these different options you have available now this can be used for taking photos or for shooting videos you have all these different effects to choose from which i think this is really cool i love the variety you have here and there's like so many different ones to choose from not just like these hearts and flowers there's animals you can put glasses on people uh it's really cool so that was just a quick look at the camera interface in the full review i'll go into more detail also i had to mention that this does have a mediatek processor the 6765 and 64 gigs of storage and 3 gigs of ram so i'm definitely interested in testing out how this mediatek processor will hold up with my day-to-day -day activity so stay tuned uh, for my full review, well, I'll let you know just how well this device does perform as a daily driver. But that's basically it. That's pretty much it. That is my unboxing and hands-on video. Again, I'll be making more dedicated short videos on different features, tips, and tricks about the Stylo 6. So definitely be subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications so you'll be notified when I do upload those future videos. What well, I also want to mention that I have about 10 cases that I ordered off of Amazon for the Stylo 6. So if you're interested in cases for this device again be subscribed to the channel because I'll be making videos on all 10 of the cases very popular cases on Amazon I have them here so you'll be seeing those videos very very soon all right everybody thanks for watching thanks for subscribing this is Paul Tech and I will talk to you on the next one bye